What's up? Hello, Trail Freak here. Coming at you from Bonita Lakes. And uh, just wanted to tell you about our little mini enduro we're doing in, I think it's two weeks now. May 21st and May 22nd will be the XC race out here. So, just a little bit about the uh, course. It's gonna be three stages. Uh, I'll be going from easy to medium, a little bit harder than easy, to the hardest, which is relative. I mean, some people probably think it's easy, some people probably think it's hard, but yeah, three has the most features on it, two drops and a, a step up. And uh, you'll see that in the video. I, will, I posted a video earlier showing the features. So I, I will include that in this video. But yeah, I got, I'm gonna be riding down all three stages today, showing y'all about what it's gonna be like. And right now the corners, some of the corners are very sandy and loose. So I'm hoping we get a little bit of rain during the week and not rain during the race of course these trails do pretty good when they're slightly damp because the sand the sand will pack up and get a little firm but once it dries out it gets loose so hopefully you get a little bit of rain but not on race day i don't want to race during the rain but if it does rain we're still going to race unless it's like thunderstorms or something but anyway enjoy the uh footage of these three stages like i say it's easy medium hard so the first one will be easy second one will be a little bit more challenging it ain't the second stage ain't that bad it's just a little bit longer and there's a couple little places that can get kind of gnarly it's like some little bitty root drops and stuff washed out paper Ooh, washed out places uh, but other than that it ain't that bad and stage three like i said has all the features on it it's got a there's a rock garden there's two drops and a step up so but they're they're not too bad but they're they're go arounds there are go arounds for all of them so if you want to go around go around you, you know it's up to you and your skill level like i say don't ride beyond your skill level so just come out here and have fun that's what it's all about just coming out here to have fun and uh and hope we can hope we can continue doing this out here for a while and i would like to do maybe a series of uh something out here and with somebody else. anyway i quit rambling check out the uh the stages see you later oh just ride me Sand to slow you down right back here.
Hey, don't. Thank you. Right, that was the three stages of our mini enduro coming up on the May 21st. So uh, if you can, come on out and uh, come ride with us, man. It's going to be a fun time. A uh, couple things. We're going to be racing in order. So when you get your number, that number you get is going to be the order you start. So if you got some friends you want to kind of stick together with, you know, make sure you get your numbers at the same time. Uh, also, if you come out here to pre-ride or pre-ride that morning, please do not move any rocks on the rock garden. It took a long time for me to build that little rock garden, even though it's tiny and stuff like that. There are some loose rocks on it, but please don't move any rocks. Just uh, just ride over it. If you can't ride it, walk it. Same thing with anything else. If you can't ride it, go around it, walk it, whatever you gotta do. But it's gonna be a fun time out here. And uh, like I say, okay, the race starts at uh, 3 o'clock, I think, or 2 o'clock. I think it starts at 2 o'clock. Pre-ride, start at 12. You can start earlier on the pre-ride, but on stage one, stage one is part of the XC course. So XC is going to be pre-riding until 12 on that little part. Then at 12 o'clock, we can pre-ride one. Like I say, one is the easiest one out of all of them. So, I mean, you really don't have to pre-ride that. But I would definitely recommend pre-riding three. Uh, two, it's fun. You don't have to really pre-ride. Uh, well, yeah, there's one little spot that you might want to look at. It's a little kind of a trail gap. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's a little trail gap. Uh, you pre-ride that or go look at it and uh, check that out. 
so but that's about it hope this uh helps you decide to come out and try it out even if you're a fairly new rider i mean you can ride down all this stuff like I say you stay within your limits of your skills and just have fun just have fun that's all we out here to do is have fun so hope to see you out here and just ride man